reading from the Gospel book at some point it is this one, Luke 5, where we hear about this great drought of catch of fish, uh, this miracle performed uh, by Christ and through the obedience of Peter. A little background at this point in the Gospel that Peter and James and John were the partners in this fishing business that they own. They know of Christ already. They know of him. They've heard his, his, uh, the, his being baptized by John and the Jordan. The news is being spread of him. But they're not yet followers. They're not yet disciples of Christ at this point. And so we hear in this gospel that Christ comes to Peter after he has been fishing all night long and asks to use his boat so that he can use it as a platform to speak to the people, to preach to them about his work, getting his ministry. And then he turns to Peter and says, Now, take your boat, go way deep out into the uh, lake, and cast your nets down again. Go deep, deeper into that water. <coughs> Where, of course, Peter knows that there's no fish out there that deep at this time of the day. He's a fisherman. This is his job to know that. But for some reason, he's obedient to this Christ that he's heard of. And he goes out, and we know the result, that this is the greatest catch that has ever had, so much so they need to help to pull in the nets. And Peter's life has changed. Peter has this conversion inside him. He knows who Christ is immediately. He feels his sinfulness before Christ's presence. And Christ tells him, don't worry, you're not going to be a fisher of, of fish anymore, but of men, to come and be my disciple, my apostle. And this is the calling, Luke's version of the calling of the disciples, at least the first, these three. And so it's important, I think, in this gospel to realize how life changes so quickly for us. We have plans in our lives, and we go along our life as according to our plans. And something happens, and our lives are turned upside down immediately. It happens all the time. I don't know how many times I've actually moved in my life. Too many for a young man, I think. But it happens. It's not something I plan. It just happens. Because it's a, it's a call from God. How, how about a career? How about family? How about a death? How about things that we don't plan in our lives? Conflict with somebody? We can just be going through life just fine. And something happens that our life is turned completely upside down. We're never going to be the same. Maybe a little bit is different in our life. Maybe it's a great difference. But we cannot plan our lives. Something is going to come along periodically that changes it forever. And it could be nothing that we're expecting. It can happen. We can have a plan just year to year on what we're going to do. And two months from now, something happens in our lives that we have to redirect, as we know in the GPS, to redirect you. We have to redirect our whole lives in another direction. Well, this is what happened today with the apostles, with Peter especially. He's just doing his business. He's just doing what he was always doing. He, he was a fisherman. He was a devout person to God. So he would know that when Christ and this Messiah that he had heard about showed up, that he was more attuned to what's going on. But he had no ambitions of being an apostle to to go and take new teachings into Judea and into the new world, into another world. That was not on his radar. That was not part of his plan. But it happened that day. Because he was attuned to God, and he wasn't afraid to go deeper, as Christ said in the Gospel. Go deeper into the water. Go deeper. And each and every one of us need to go a little deeper in our lives when things come. We can go deeper within ourselves. We can endure more tribulation. We can endure more affliction. We can go deeper. And we can, when God calls us to do something that's not on our plans, we can do it if we go a little deeper within ourselves. You see, brothers and sisters, everything in the life of a Christian is a test. Everything in our life is a test to see how faithful we are to God. Can we be faithful to Christ in spite of changes that are not according to our plan? Can we be faithful to God and content in our lives and ready to direct ourselves where He puts us by giving up our own will and following His will? Can we, brothers and sisters? Can we go deeper? Can we accept the test? Everything's a test. We have to look at everything. 
everything in our life as a test of our faith to our God. Any affliction, tribulation, sickness, loss of job, gaining a new job, loss of a, a loved member, a, a, a loved one, a family member, a friend. Something that just changes our world upside down has to be seen as a test. Can I endure this? Can I accept it? Can I do it for the name of God and for His glory? That's all we need to do day by day. Plan your lives, yes, brothers and sisters, but realize it's going to change. And it can change today. And it can change tomorrow or the week after, the month after, or the year after. But we have to be willing to know that I am going to go a little deeper spiritually whenever things happen to me. Whenever something is asked to me that I, I don't want to do, or I don't want to do, a suggestion to do something different, can I go a little deeper and have a little bit more faith in, that God is directing my life, despite it not being according to my plan? That's what we have to do as Christians, brothers and sisters. Go deeper. Go deeper into the waters, as Christ say, but it's deeper into our hearts into our souls, and to really confront who we really are and what our faith really is to Christ. Because there is nothing in this world that we can't get through when God is right next to us, when we have faith in Christ, when Christ is there guiding us, even though we don't like where He's guiding us. He's there next to us, holding us and taking our hand and showing us the way. It may be troubled waters, but He's there next to us. So brothers and sisters, let's go deep spiritual lives. Let's look at everything that comes into our world view each day as a test of not only our humanity but of our love for Christ and our faith for Him. This is all we have as Christians to be tested and tempted and to see through it because in the end we become strong. We become strong like metal gets cooked in fire. That's what we are. So brothers and sisters, don't be afraid of change. Don't be afraid to follow the hand of Christ when he leads us to places that we weren't expecting it to go. It's okay. We'll get through it. Just have faith in Christ. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.